All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. And while we're here doing these top 10s, I figured why not go ahead and take a look at what the top 10 uh, units are of every typing, right? So we got EGL, Tech, Int, STR, and Physical. I'll probably just go in order like that. Um, I, I would say AGL is probably the strongest of all of them as well, because for whatever reason, um, AGL got flooded with top tier LRs in 2019. So, uh, hopefully the five year anniversary, which is coming up, does not have a super AGL LR. Although, why would I not be surprised? <laughs> so, um, okay. I mean, a lot of these units I have talked at length about in, like, a lot of these different top 10s, so we probably don't have to spend too much time here. So let's just go ahead and jump to uh, number 10. By the way, this whole list is basically just going to be, like, EZA units and LRs. Like, that's all of these top 10s for uh, the typings are definitely going to look like that. So here we have the uh, AGL Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. He's okay defensively because um, for the first 10 turns, he is basically getting, you know, 59% uh, uh, at the start of turn. Then he gets the additional 59%, which, you know, really allows him, I believe, to get somewhere in the realm of, like, 100k defense, like, 80k defense, somewhere around there. So outside of, like, you know, some really hard hitters in, like, Super Battle Road or, like, Legendary Goku event, he will do okay. He does hit pretty hard. Um, he lowers your health by 5%. I found that to be not that big of a deal, but obviously it is something that is going to catch up a little bit. Um, he does greatly stack attack, which is cool. He's got a good leader skill for Dokkan Battlefield. One of the best things about him is his link set. Having over and a flash, shocking speed, and prepared for battle is really good. Um, you know, we have the Realm of Gods team, which really could look very, very different very soon. And, you know, depending upon how that looks um, with, you know, whatever LRs they release for the five-year anniversary, you know, this guy, LR God Goku, you know, maybe, you know, LR Blue Gogeta, LR Blue Vegito, you know, it could be ridiculous on that Realm of Gods team. So this guy could definitely help out. Um, a, a very, very good unit, and I think definitely worthy of being in this 10 slot. Um, he does hit very, very hard, right? That's one of the big things about him. That Goku hits super, super hard. All right, so we get rid of this. Next, we got AGL Zamasu. Um, I feel a lot better about AGL Zamasu since uh, Tech Merge Zamasu has gotten his EZA. Just really, uh, this AGL Zamasu, he just needs just a, a tiny bit of support, of defensive support from some other unit. And he really, really just becomes a strong all-around unit. Now, I don't know. Maybe, you know, some people are like, well weird to have him on here when he kind of needs support but it's like it's not that he does he needs it completely but like if we're talking about something like patara super battle road right you put him on there with like gawasu and zamasu on the rotation or something like that and he will mostly be able to shut that shit down um realm of god super battle road same thing realm of god super battle road was you know pretty much the most difficult uh super battle road stage there was to no item um right now there's two Ginyu Force and Fusion, which I have not done. Fusion, I do think is possible, but Ginyu Force, I do not think is possible. Um, so, you know, with those uh, not done, like, Realm of Gods is definitely the hardest one to actually get done, right? Um, this guy has an amazing leader skill, one of the best leader skills in the game for sure. Um, really, my issues with this guy mostly lie in the fact that this form right here is too, like, just okay attack like doing damage and then also defending like i feel like either they should have bumped this damage reduction up to like 60 percent or this attack should have gone up to like 150 percent something like that um just give him a little bit more in this form i think would have been really good um or give him more hp regeneration something he does have an amazing link set and then obviously once he comes to here he hits so stupidly hard he's really really good uh is on a lot of good category teams definitely a very strong Dokkan Fest exclusive that is aging pretty well. Uh, next, we have Blue Gogeta here. Um, I did see some people didn't really agree with my high placement of Blue Gogeta. I was in the, the top 10 TURs list, right? Um, Blue Gogeta is just very, very good, right? It's like, I, I see sort of the argument against him, which is that before he turns blue, He's just, he's, he's really good, right? He does greatly raise attack for one turn. His leader skill is insane. That, see, that's one of the big things about him. That movie hero category team is nuts. And like, look at his leader skill. It's really good. 170% to attack and then 150% to HP and defense. That's nice. He doesn't have a 130% in there at all. So that's going to be very, very impactful. Um, you know, you rock that movie hero team with like LR Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku and some other really powerful units. That team is very good. Um, then he gets 100% attack and defense. So his defense 
is okay. Um, typically in like Super Battle Road and some of these tougher stages, though, he will take a lot of damage. He is effective against all types, like pretty much all Gogeta units end up being. Um, but then he has this medium chance of evading enemy attack. Now, the issue is that 25% to evade, you can't rely upon that at all. That's not something that you can think, oh, that's going to activate. So, uh, that's kind of like the, the negative about this guy is a bit defensively. Once he goes blue with his guaranteed crits and high chance of dodging, though, he's ridiculous, right? Obviously, this Gogeta is, he's, he's a silly, silly boy. Um, okay, so next we have uh, EGL Super Vegito. As hard as I am on this guy, he is still really good, right? It's just that in the most difficult of events, his damage really dries up without doing crits. Um, you know, as much as I would love for Vegito, you know, to, to be, oh, so invincible, always oh, so amazing. The counters, counters that rack up so much extra damage. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> in today, uh, today's Dokkan, a lot of these bosses are starting to have super high defensive stats to where Vegito can't penetrate without crits. And like, I gave my Vegito full crit and he still never crits for me. So I don't know. It's like Vegito units just don't love me. <laughs> they, they don't love me. They don't give me the luck. Uh, what can I say? Um, one really good thing about him. He does have prepare for battle and shocking speed, which will be very relevant for the Majin Buu Saga team. Unless they make a third Super Vegito and make him the new leader of the Boo Saga team, which I highly, highly, highly doubt they're going to do. There's no way Super Vegito is going to be the leader for the Boo Saga again. I think a transforming Vegito, like base form into Super Vegito, that I think is very possible. But I don't think just like a standalone Super Vegito card is going to be the next Boo Saga leader. So this guy is going to be amazing on that team. He's going to be very important with these two powerful links right here. Prepare for battle and shocking speed and fuse fighter. So that'll help with like some of the go tanks units is like he this guy basically will link up with every single like hero card pretty much on the boo saga team i mean outside of like angel super saiyan 3 goku i guess but even then they're still gonna have does angel super saiyan 3 goku have golden warrior let me let me double check that he he does okay that's good that, that that's good that's one key right there so this guy has really good links um it, it's just one other annoyance is that he gets vegeto gets his defense when he gets hit but uh, many times the enemy will instantly super attack and deal, you know, 300k damage to you. And then it's like, okay, so that defense that he got on that super attack basically never mattered at all. Like, it's it, because he takes double digits from normals. So he is very good. Um, they definitely could have made him a bit better, but I, I do still think he's worthy of being in here. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah, he came out before all these other units. That's right. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get rid of him. Uh, next, we have uh, T.U.R. Kalen Khalifa. Now, I mean, they're just ridiculous. I, like, <laughs> listen, uh, just because they're like a, an unawakened version of the LR doesn't really mean that much. Um, they're still ridiculous. Stacking defense, they'll have a, they'll be able to hit very hard. Like, they're able to get well above a million with you know up to the fifty percent chance to dodge. Again, the stacking defense. Uh, they've got a really good link set prepared for battle, tournament power, fierce battle, Super Saiyan. Uh, they, they just have a lot of good stuff going for them. Um, really the one negative for them, obviously, is their leader skill. They have the worst leader skill in, in this top 10 by far, but I, I do feel like T.U.R. Kale and Khalifa, they're so powerful. They are deserving of being in that spot. Um, and considering all their additionals and stuff like that, I would probably put them a little bit above, um, AGL Super Vegito as well. I'm sure a lot of people disagree, but oh well. I mean, that's, that's the way these lists are going to be, right? Um, okay, so now we've reached the LR portion. <laughs> you know, the, the rest of this is just going to be LRs. Um, we have LR Super Baby 2 um, at slot number 5. Um, this is a unit that, when he first came out, I was like, eh, you know, he's I, You know, he's pretty good, but, you know, he could be better. But I don't know. I, I just, I found this guy to be very impressive. Um, he does lower attack on both of his super attacks. Um, he is the only real, like, artificial lifeform category leader as of right now. Um, I mean, Cell Jr. is also here. I wish they would, I hate this, I think basic, well, okay, for me, like a leader of a category would be a unit that has 130% or above, right, and then sub leaders for me is 120% or below, um, Cell Jr. is at 120%, so I would consider him a sub leader, right, um, but we have Baby at 130%, this team is really good and works really well together, I'm very excited to see what happens once this team actually gets a true, like, 150% or plus leader. This team is going to be really good. 
Um, this guy, you know, gets three key, 100% attack and defense. Then he gets more key and attack based upon if there's pure Saiyan and hyper Saiyan enemies, which is, you know, 75% of the game. So most of the time, he's at least going to have, you know, the extra three key and 50% attack. Then he also does have his giant ape transformation, which is easily the strongest giant ape transformation in the game because he does have the LR Gohan effect of an additional key per key sphere, which is incredibly powerful. Very, very powerful. This guy does a lot of damage. Um, I was actually able to beat the legendary Goku event with the artificial life form team way back in the day before many powerful EZAs and stuff like that were added to that team. Uh, and it was thanks to baby's giant ape transformation and how ridiculous it is. Um, one negative frame is he doesn't have shocking speed, though. That's stupid. That's really, really stupid. Because, you know, we have to get this hatred of Saiyan's Link on there. Very, very important that we get that on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta push that. Very important. <laughs> but, uh, he's on a lot of categories, and he's very, very good, right? Uh, so next we have AGL LR Gohan. Um, again, you know, one of the best units in the game. I mean, at this point... This, <laughs> the rest of this list is almost like, <laughs> like just like the top units in the game. The only other unit, I mean, we already know what the list is right here, right? But the only other unit that would fit in this list um, outside of Super AJL is LR Gohan and Goten in Super Tech. That's it. But, you know, I've talked about this guy at length. You know, the stacking defense, Kamehameha category is pretty good, especially with the Super Saiyan 2 Goku buff. Um, you know, he does build up his attack, defense, and key every turn. The only issue is that his transformation is incredibly difficult to get um, to the point where, I don't know, I, maybe I've used this guy 300 times and I've transformed with him maybe like 20 times or something like that. Like, like legitimately, like that, that's, that's not like an exaggeration. It's something like that. Like they, it, it's just, it's a ridiculous transformation requirement for him. Um, he does have really good links. Uh, obviously when he transforms, he's amazing. I do give him extra credit because this 12 key super attack is my single favorite super attack in the entire game, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, next we have LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who I think, um, has aged very well. Um, I really like this guy. He has his busted active skill, right? Turn four does a lot of damage. Very easy for him the 18 key super attack with the additional two key he gets from Rainbow and AGL key spheres. Um, he does raise his defense by 100% on 12 key and 18 key super attack, making him very, very defensive. He has one of the better uh, teams in the game, the Goku family team, which is, I believe, the second largest category in the game. Like, just absolutely monstrous, right? Every single update, you get massive buffs to this. Like, last night, there was a data download. And we got, you know, two basically two new units released for it last night. This guy got his EZA. And then this guy got his EZA. Just last night. Like, literally, every single, like, week, new units get added to this team. Incredibly powerful, busted, strong units get added to this team. So, you know, that is definitely extra points for Goku. Uh, then at slot number two, we have LR Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I think a lot of people don't realize how insane this guy is. Like, it's like once you use him, you can feel his power. Like, it's just insane. Like, this guy is currently my favorite unit in the game. Um, I love using his team. Right now, when I'm just playing the game, like, you know, like grinding, like, rank or something like that, or just, like, collecting some extra Dokkan Fest medals. Like, I've been running a lot of Vegito and Gogeta stages lately, getting extra Dokkan Fest medals in case that they are, you know, the anniversary units. I'm running this team, his Super Saiyan team. Even though it's only 130%, you run his team with double this Goku as leader. So, you know, you have eight key as a starter and then two of this guy creating rainbow orbs all over. And then you run like AJ, LR Gohan, you know, the fusions, you got LR Trunks, you got Vegito's, Gogeta's. It's just crazy. That guy is really, really good. And then two makes the strongest of all universes. I'm not even going to spend time talking about them. Uh, the top 10 summonable LRs, I, you know, talked about them at length. Uh, they are the best unit in the game. It's pretty clear as day. Uh, <laughs> they're the best defensive unit in the game. They're one of the best offensive units in the game as well. Uh, so there we go. There's Super AGL. I have no idea what they were thinking with those top four LRs in 2019. Um, I don't think Super AGL needs too many more LRs in 2020. Um, hopefully, <laughs> Dokkan understands that. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.